Some march in the MLK parade, like Martin Luther King III did in 2020. How much does it mean to your family to be here for a day like today? It, it uh, first of all, I think the most important thing is that people continue to come together. Thank you, and God bless you, Washington, D.C. And friends and families gather here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Obviously, it's a perfect weekend to celebrate Dr. King's legacy. Not just himself and not just his family, but he set up for people. He said he had a dream, and he marched on Washington, and he talked about a dream. And it's, I won't say it's completely fulfilled, but it, it, it's a long way towards the, the, the future that he dreamed of, where people can be judged by the content of their character and not the color of their skin. Another popular spot will be here at the Lincoln Memorial, where people will want to stand in the exact same spot where Dr. King delivered his famous speech. Each year, new generations of children learn about Dr. King in classrooms all across the country, like these high school seniors in Prince George's County, Crossland High School. He really speaks to me just because, yeah, um, you know, I'm a little black girl, so it's like, dang. That's how it was. Like, I wasn't able to have a white friend or go to the same water fountain as a white girl. I feel like his message still sticks because we recognize what happened and what we did wrong and what we need to fix as a whole, instead of him just talking to one person and like one race. He's speaking to all of us. Dr. Dr. King, he's, he's inspirational. You know, like, to stand up for what you believe in, I think, especially at a time when nobody wanted, nobody wanted to see you do that, I think it's very inspirational. With him, I feel like he stood for something that was like truly great. Because I feel like everything that he was trying to do, it is a good bit of it has come to fruition. Dr. King, he wanted us to be together. He didn't really, he wanted us to be equal too, but he really wanted to, for us to come together and be united. Like how he loved his children so much at the time that he he could stand in front of all of those people and talk about how he wants a better future for them. Today, 2023 more focused on being together, being one, instead of being separated because of your color. Dr. King's speech, it changed the world. Those are some very, very mature high school seniors that you talk to. Absolutely, and we should thank um, uh, Stuart and uh, Muriel, the teachers, and they do such a great job with those wonderful, uh, wonderful, smart, smart kids. And, uh, the young man, Maury, there talked about um, having the strength to give that speech in front of all those people oh, yeah. for his children. And I think that um, it's just heartbreaking to think that not long after that, um, he lost his life and his, his children lost a father. And he did it to uh, make sure that the country and the world was better for his kids and everybody else.